hearings tomorrow on a controversial program known as Operation Choke Point. It's a program some say the Obama administration used to skirt the law and squeeze companies like gun stores and casinos out of business because higher-ups in the administration deemed them morally objectionable. Banks were reportedly told they kept accounts for these businesses. If they kept accounts for these businesses, the banks would face increased scrutiny. Mike Tobin, live in Chicago with an update. Mike. Hey, John. Hearing tomorrow will try to determine if government bureaucrats are doing an end run around Congress and the law to crush some businesses simply because they don't like the businesses. The founder of Global Hookah Distributors, a man named Brennan Appel, says his payment processor, a man named Alex Bacon, told him the bank would be subject to audits and increased scrutiny from the FDIC and the Consumer Fraud Protection Bureau if Global Hookah were allowed to maintain an account. Appel recorded a conversation with his payment processor. The audio was first published by the U.S. Consumer Coalition. Have you heard of a little thing, you know, called choke point, you know, yes. in the CFPB? Yes. They're taking aim at industries like you and others to eliminate you from business by choking off your payment processing. I uh, started this business when I was 18 years old, funded my way through college with it, and have continued on since then growing this company into what it is today. And I feel like, why do you, why, why do you get punished when you're uh, growing a company? Now, initially, the FDIC first put out a list of 30 high-risk businesses. That list has since been rescinded. But the U.S. Consumer Coalition says all that did was remove a guideline, and in the opinion of that organization, it's increased the subjectivity with which businesses are targeted. Also, the U.S. Consumer Coalition says some of these businesses are being forced to go all cash, inviting the potential that they'll operate off the books. John? So if the government doesn't like what you're doing, watch out. That's, that's the moral of the story. Uh, according to the hearings, that we'll, uh, we'll get more of that, I guess, in the hearings tomorrow, John. All right. Keep, keep us updated. Mike Tobin, thank you. you got it.